Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be giving another example of heteroscedasticity. So this example here is going to be if we were interested in finding out how the percentage of income which an individual spends on food depends on that individual's level of income. Well, what might we expect this relationship to look like? If I had a collection of individuals um, and I had for those individuals their level of income and the percentage of income spent on food, perhaps the relationship might look something like this. So as an individual or as an individual's level of income increases, in general, the percentage of income which they spend on food tends to decrease because an individual only needs, in general, to spend a certain amount of money on food to stay alive. So when an individual gets richer, the percentage of income they spend on food, in general, tends to decrease. So the sort of angle, angle curve here, if we were to fit the above model to our data, might be downward sloping, which says that, in general, as an individual's income increases, then the percentage of income they spend on food tends to decrease as well. But notice what's happened to the average distance of the points from a line as um, income increases. Well, if income is small, then the points don't tend to be very far away from our fitted line. Whereas as uh, the level of income increases, the points tend to be increasingly further away on average from our line than they were if income was small. Well, why might that be? Well, if an individual has a higher level of income, he might be a foodie, so it might represent this individual here, so they might still spend a higher um, or a high percentage of their income on food. Uh, and in real money terms, that re would represent a lot of money spent on food. Whereas perhaps there's also another individual who's also quite rich, but they don't spend as much income on food or not as much income as a percentage of their income on food. So they might spend their income on cars. And contrast this with the circumstance when an individual is relatively poor. Well, an individual has to spend a sort of given monetary amount of income on food. So, and because their income is that much smaller, this sort of monetary amount um, tends to be higher as a percentage of their income. Uh, in general, when an individual is poorer, they have a smaller amount of choice of the amount of income they can spend on food. Compared with when someone is richer, they can, they've got a wide amount of choice over in terms of the percentage of income they can spend on food and still stay alive. So we can expect that the error or the distance which points in general lie from our line increases as the level of income increases. Well, how do we write this mathematically? Well, we might say that the variance of our errors given an individual's level of income is some sort of increasing function of, or not education here, an individual's level of income. So we might expect that the variance of our points is a sort of increasing linear function of income, perhaps. And, and notice that in this circumstance, we don't have the condition of homo scedasticity um, satisfied because the variance of our errors given an individual's level of education does not equal some constant sigma squared. So again here there is some information which our least squared estimators are not taking into account which will lead them to be no longer blue. Uh, in reality there are other estimators which are better. There are other estimators which have a lower sampling variance than least squared in this circumstance.